happy Memorial Day, senpais, and welcome to Nagatoro Every Week, the weekly Nagatoro review podcast where we, Avenge and Tectonic Improv, discuss Ijira Naide, Nagatoro-san, or Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. How are you doing, Avenge? Hey guys, I'm Avenge, and I'm down bad. I as well am down bad. This is the down bad episode of the of the podcast. It took us eight episodes, but it finally happened, unfortunately. But we're gonna we're gonna power through it and talk about uh we're gonna talk about this this latest episode and what we thought of it. What do you uh, you know uh, opening thoughts? Good, bad, down bad. We got a lot this episode. This was like it was like a four parter almost. Yeah, they uh, they crammed a lot of a lot of content into this one. A lot of changing locations, which you don't see a lot in this uh, manga. Yeah, yeah. Normal, normal. We're just relegated to the art room. Mm. We got around a bit. I liked it. I thought this one was pretty good. Um, I think I think last episode is probably still on the front runner for favorites, but this one's good. Mm-hmm. This one is uh, also good. Um, it's up there. If we're if we're gonna if we're gonna if we're gonna, if we're gonna like lower ourselves to like the the content dregs and like make like a Nagatoro episode tier list, this would be like solid A at least. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. this is like a this is like gold standard uh, Nagatoro at this point. And let 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 me just say we're eight episodes in. There hasn't really been a bad episode yet. There's been uh, I think like. A couple of weeks ago, there was one I wasn't too crazy about, but it wasn't bad per se. So far, this this show's been really good. Yeah, no, I, th- I think they've done a pretty good job with, like, adapting interesting chapters and none, none that kind of, like, drag or repeat too much. Or and at least, the... like, even if there are chapters that kind of, like, repeat a bit, they're, they're spreading them out. And they also managed to tie them together really well. Like ones that yeah. wouldn't otherwise have any sort of like connecting tissue, they've they've made it seem like almost seamless that this one goes into the into the next. I like it. Yeah, I, I think impressed. they've been doing that, especially like a good job of that with like her friends and mm. like working them in. Yes, we're starting. Uh, we're starting to see that a bit too with uh, with Sakura. Sakura showing up a lot more now. And she's yeah. she was uh, she was kind of like a ghost before, you know. Yeah, in. I think she's actually going to be. If, if we're we're going to get a little bit of ahead of ourselves, uh, according to the preview, I think we're going to see a little bit more of her next week too. Oh, you watched the preview? I was gonna yeah. finally, finally. If we can, if we can get all the way ahead of ourselves to what would what is ostensibly the end of the episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. The next episode is the one is the one with the the date with Sakura, which should pose exciting. Yeah, I actually forgot that was a chapter, but again, getting Those ahead of favorites. ourselves. Yeah. So like this one, it starts. Uh, it starts with Nagatoro like kind of chiding senpai about uh about. Oh shit! Wait, no. I I I was gonna talk about the um, like the midterms thing, but uh, there, there's a little uh. Well, there, like, there's a part before open. that. Yeah, there's yeah. a cold open where there where she's like chiding him for not uh, exercising enough, which uh, it was first of all it was really funny that like senpai has this like really funny face about like about how he's like he's so above exercising, which is really funny. But um, I mean, obviously the humor comes in the fact that she's making him she she's print she's turned him into a human table, which uh. Yeah, which, which is a common, which is a common practice for those who are down bad. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. The funny, the funny part are the, the the students that walk in and see them, and it makes me, it makes me think like you know we don't see like most other students outside of like Nagatoro and her friends, so I like to imagine that there's this like school wide rumor about a uh, about the the art the the kid who runs the art club and his like girlfriend that are always doing like really like. Uh, like really kinky shit in the in the classroom. Oh, no, absolutely. Like I, I've thought this for a while that like they're pretty like N- Nagatoro's pretty like rambunctious. That's that's a word you could use. Yeah, it's it's because like we don't see all the other students like often or ever. So I I really do just like the thing that's like everyone else around them, including her friends, especially <laughs> her friends, absolutely just think these two are just flirting constantly. Yeah. It's like, well, what do you mean they're not dating? 
Yeah. It's like, I, 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 if we haven't, I don't think we have, it's happened yet, but I think we're, we're eventually going to get a chapter. Actually, wait a minute. D- we did, didn't we? The One of the most recent ones, if, was it the most recent one? Where it's like, w- wait, you guys aren't dating? Yes. Yeah. That was in the most recent chapter yeah. as of this recording. Honestly, it's been a long time coming. But yeah, they, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's nice to get a bit of an outside perspective and see, and have these students like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> they usually yeah, have the like, door closed. And what, and what you said earlier too, about like Senpai's like weird, funny reaction to like Nagatoro, like, come on, Senpai, you're such a, like a weak bean sprout. Like you don't even want to work out. I mean, like, where, where, do, where do you even work out, Senpai? The, the, the library. library. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The classic. Classic. It's like, why would I exercise if I don't get immediate results? It's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, but, but but yeah, that's just the that's just like the cold open thing. The first episode or the first half of the episode is this segment. That's what I'm thinking of. The word is segment. The first segment of the episode is a uh, is about like the midterms, which I think is weird because like what wasn't it like two episodes ago? The quarter or the semester had just started, so we're, we've already cut to the midterms. Yeah, we're kind of we're, we're jumping around definitely a bit, but it's like I feel like that's just kind of like par for the course in these like high school anime where it's like if this is actually going in chronological order, we like this shit just cuts around so often a lot of the times where it's not just like okay because if this is like an actual school term, it's like whether it's like the holiday episodes or like te- like the the big test whatever coming up episodes is like. They're never actually going to be in order, or they're going to like, oh well, th- this week the author would think is like, this is going to be a really good week to like do like a funny little like, I don't know, testing arc chapter episode, whatever you want to call it. Well, the thing and is, then he is just that... like does that like a month later too, because he also just thought of a good idea for that. It's like, sure, they have tests again. The thing is, is that is that Nagator is usually like kind of it, it. It always struck me as chronological because there was never really anything that necessarily like contradicted that notion. Like we just mm-hmm. had the summer festival, and you know, so it's like the end of the semester. Uh, that makes sense. I just think it's weird that they're jumping to the midterm already. That'd be like, like September or October. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. It was just an interesting observation I had. Interesting in quotes. Um. Oh, but uh, uh, all right. So here's here's something I want I want to I want to run by you and see if maybe I'm overthinking things. I want you to go. I want you to go load up load up this latest episode for me if you would be so. Already kind. got it. All right, excellent. I want you to go to about six or so minutes in. Okay. Six when minutes. Nagatoro is like, it's like it's like oh senpai, if you fail midterms, you're gonna have to repeat the school year. That make that make us the, uh, in the same class. So you have to be like. You have to be like asking me for help in English class. I want you to go to six twenty-five exactly, and I want you to look exactly six twenty-five exactly, and I want you to look uh, off to Nagatoro's right, and 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 I want I want to ask you if if that character looks familiar at all to you. To her right, yeah. So like I, it. it are you trying to imply that like this is the new character in the manga? I I saw it for a second, and I was like, I, I thought it was worthy to bring up on the podcast. I honestly don't think so. Well, I, think I it's mean, just it's supposed to it be definitely a, like, isn't. A generic, a, it te- it, oh, what? It, it, well, first off, it definitely isn't because the new character is a year under her. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Probably it's just g- generic background character that has a slightly similar hairstyle. All right. Well, I figured I'd bring it up. I I do like seeing her in like the sweater. That's cute. The sweater is cute. Yeah. Big fan it, of it. Yeah, it's it's really funny how they're just kind of like going off on him. For yeah, for, like, they're you know, they're all like, just giving him a ton of shits. Like you're gonna fail, you're gonna fail, haha. We're we are gonna be your senpai now, haha. And then soccer soccer just walks in. And it's like, you know, you guys are uh, in a pretty bad spot with your grades, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, and actually, I th- th- this episode ha- brought it up a lot, and it's something that like I this series specifically got me thinking about because I hadn't really heard it too much before the series. 
When when you first heard them calling him Pison, did you know what that meant? No, it, it took it took me a second. It took me like a couple of uh it took me a cook me. It took me like a couple of chapters to realize that she was calling him Pison cuz it's senpai. Uh, yeah, it's, like it's senpai around. like mixed around. Yeah. I didn't understand that cuz I I'd, I'd read that for a while in this. I thought it was just like a weird like casual term like in Yeah, it's like that, is that felt, like, is his name Japanese Pison? People. How does she know that? <laughs> and I I heard like VTubers use it too and I like finally looked it up. It's oh, like, so oh, it, okay. it's, it is like a, a thing. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's it's just a more casual way to like refer to your senpai, your your senior, uh, if you will. That makes sense. It makes sense that Gamo especially would uh would use it. Then okay, cool. Mm-hmm. What well, what what I aside? Yeah, what what I found funny about about like uh, Gamo and Yoshi being like, you know, if you chances are if you fail, you'll fail twice, which would make uh. Uh, which would make you our senpai, or no, no, us your senpai. That's that's what it is. Like, and you'd have to do all this stuff for us. And it's just like he kind of already does do all this shit for you guys. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 too spineless to to say no otherwise. So you don't even really need the the whole senpai angle to do it. He'll just do it for you anyway. Like um, like with the uh the splinter. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that's not really like a oh like you're my upperclassman so I have to do this for you. <laughs> that's them like forcing themselves on him. Yeah, in a way. But yeah, he it's like he's still too spineless to like tell them to stop. Or like I, he'll be like no, ah, uh, don't oh no uh, no stop as, please as all these girls no, throw I themselves don't at be him your and, table please yeah. no I'm not down bad or anything. <sighs> neither am i neither am i that's that's good to hear but yeah i mean you know the 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 midterms happen he does fine on them he actually he doesn't do like great but he doesn't do terrible either he, he gets like high 70s and 80s which is you know that's uh it's uh it's remarkable in, in i, I kind of regard. like that there's like a bit of variance in like the japanese like nerd stereotype where it's like just because you're a nerd doesn't mean you're like only focused on grades or something like that you're less like you're you're a nerd but you're a nerd because like your interests are nerdy not because like you're smart that's that's usually what i notice in like japanese stuff is that like the nerd characters aren't always smart yeah i I think that's like that's a really specific thing that is like 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 the otaku stereotype too it's like no this person is just an outcast because he's just super into anime or manga or whatever and Chances are, it's, are it's, it's it's separated from like like the the study freak kind of like archetype. Yeah, like if you if 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 you're spending all your all day drawing or whatever playing video games, chances are you're not doing very good in school anyway. I would know, but um, <laughs> but I mean he he does fine, and uh, I assume Gamma and Yoshi do fine too. Although I don't really re- I don't really remember um uh, any yeah I don't I don't think we see their their grades. Assume they just do fine, like whatever. Yeah, but they pass. Uh, I want to talk about the um, like the the bump, the bump screen where they're where they're, they all go to get boba, right? And ah, uh, well, my yes, yes. So so they're all like they're all like yeah, let's go get boba. All right, and and senpai like doesn't know what boba is, I guess. And then uh, the second one, he's like freaking out because because yoshi's talking about baby boba can oh can you explain funnily this enough to me? My, my like mid cards weren't like fully translated it was like cut off i noticed oh, that okay because there, there's just like a b next to senpai and that's like all that's on the first one and then the second one is just yoshi just saying boba yeah, <laughs> so but... i i didn't catch any of that <laughs> but well, i'm noticing really now that joke. you're saying it huh yeah, I've never had boba, so it's not like some like funny joke about it's, it or anything. Yeah, I don't it's, really get um, it. It's just like a, it's just like milk tea, and like bobas are these like uh, it's like tapioca balls. I, yeah, I, I know like, what yeah. it is. I've just never had it. They're it's all right, but I'm trying to decipher what this is. Like my first thought was that this is a boob joke, and it's like boba's like booba. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if Japanese have like the, the I don't booba know if they joke. know what booba is but but now I'm thinking about it you know what it probably you know what the joke probably is it is a uh, 
uh, is like he's probably he doesn't know what boba is and he's drinking it and he got one of the tapioca balls and it's freaking him out i think that's what the joke is mm, which maybe. reminds me of this youtube video of this guy who gets like boba tea for the fir- or like milk tea with bobas for the first time and he's like told that the bobas will dissolve and he gets one when he's like when he's like drinking it and he just like spits it out all over his car it is so funny <laughs> uh I'll, I'll put the link to the video in the description so you so you all can watch it too excellent that right. leads us into our to our next little segment and i really yes. like i, I may know because i really like how this opens because it's just it's just nagatora walking down the hallway and she's just saying she's like just singing to herself gross 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 <laughs> gross, gross, gross yeah that was cute that was cute very nice. And then she she overhears something. She overhears uh, some mm. noise, some people speaking coming out of the art club room. And she goes to listen. And this this goes on for a while of just I like, was gonna say I wrote this down too. Like like it's it's like this suggestive like, you know, you're hearing stuff, it's like, ah, uh, uh, be gentle with me. Uh it's it's the extremely common, like yeah, like super sig like vague but suggestive like speech, right? Mm, yep. Uh, like, uh, oh, but, be gentle oh it's 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 my first time yeah this but this one was like it was really like going for it it, it went on for it, it went on for like over a minute yeah the girls were kind of going ham and and uh it was that the guy who played senpai he was really uh <laughs> he was really getting into it too it was it was like crazy i don't know what really? else to say besides um Besides, like, oh, it's it's that classic joke. We all know about it. We all... Uh, I mostly tolerate it. It's fine. It's a fine yeah. joke. It's just kind of, it, like, it, been It's done. the bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honestly, a bit disappointed. I feel like we're... we're like, <laughs> no, were you expecting like something else? <laughs> no, I, I'm disappointed that we had to, like, resort to this. <laughs> it's come to this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I do think it's funny that it, it, it it's a it's a fucking splinter of all things, and Nagatoro's just like fine. Here, let me take care of it, and she just immediately gets it out. I I do like her reaction of just like jump into action, immediately pull it out, haha. Like try strike yeah. triumphant pose afterwards. The rest of the episode though is really good because it's uh it's the, whenever they're walking home, y- you know it's gonna be good. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, so hey, hey. they're they're walking home, right? The the conceit is what it, it's that um, she 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 just like decides like okay, let's send pie, let's play a game. Like oh no, she she's mad at him. That's it. She's mad at him. That's mm-hmm. soccer. I say I say this like I realized it. I'm watching the episode as I say this. <laughs> but she she gets mad at him that he uh, offered to carry some chairs for Sakura. Uh, earlier and that's what mm. got him in the, the splinter situation yeah and she's like well why, why don't you carry my bag too and he's like well why should i carry your bag she's like okay fine we'll, we'll, we'll do rock paper scissors for it and like you could like they give it from the perspective that like nagatoro is just like moving like so slow and obviously that she basically like threw out like scissors or whatever like 10 minutes before she even like actually like got her hand in position so senpai is just like Man, I can react to this super well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he beats her, and she has to carry his bag, and she is not happy about it. She's not having it. I will say, um, what was it? Her bag. She has this like a, uh, you know, this that the plus sign thing she has kind of near the top of that bag. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a backpack that's like very similar to that one. Let me get up right now. Uh, is it this one? No, it's not really. <laughs> I, I I used to have a bag. I think it's like a I think it's like a Columbia bag or something. I don't know. Just just noticed it. I can't believe I, I, I can I can got imagine it. the exact thing you're describing, but I'm trying to skip through the episode and I can't find like a good straight on yeah. shot of her bag. It's um it, it, it's like one of those classic bags you'd see in like high school a lot. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, it's I, interesting. I, here I'm we not, go. Yeah. But uh, you, you you know it's uh, rock paper scissors to carry bags. Uh, w- was your bag heavy in school, Evange? My bag was extremely heavy because I don't know about. I assume it's like this, like this for every high school. But it's like you have to carry. Or you just, I don't know. You have textbooks. Everyone has textbooks. But just like every night, 
just take take all of your textbooks home for homework because yep you fucking got to do it so yeah just load up every single textbook you have into a backpack and go yes yeah uh and that's my, probably and why school... i have back problems now <laughs> uh in, in my school we had lockers but like no one used them Mm -hmm. so so everyone was just carrying their bags and their backpack all the time it really just made more sense i wish we like we weren't allowed to take like backpacks like between classrooms so we had to just like carry a pile of books everywhere with us oh that's fucked up yeah no the our our school let us carry our backpacks around whatever that would have been great (sighs) all right but yeah yeah all right so he's uh so you know they they do a back and forth a couple of times and uh and, and senpai senpai uh like a true like a true man he throws and, yeah, and he uh, feels bad and he, he throws the game he throws the game and instead of just carrying her bag he has to carry her as well and this this results and from... hmm? what what no i was, sorry, I was gonna say you... just like from from the get-go that's this is like a super bold thing of her to do is like she yes. knows that she's gonna like get on her back and i'm surprised that from like the very beginning she's not like like her face is just goes bright red as soon as he like grabs onto her thighs <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 but and like uh it it's obviously like he's carrying like two he's carrying a full uh, uh not full grown but you know like he's carrying a, a a high school girl and his own backpack with them and you know as we've established uh, you know tying into the uh, beginning of the episode that's uh that's cinematic parallels you know it's like poetry sort of like they rhyme uh he can't hold on to her for very long so he needs to readjust and he recalibrates a little uh a little closer to the uh to the sun than than uh expected i guess you could say he gets a whole handful of ass he, he, he not. so this is one of my, like my favorite reactions uh from from nagatoro is just like the, the the grabbing a handful of ass she doesn't say anything she just immediately jumps off him and runs away <laughs> yes yes Tur- turns around just runs straight in the other direction and then we just see her reaction as she's running away and now her face is bright red <laughs> so cute however very, I-, I-, very I actually cute. think i think senpai's reaction to her reaction is kind of like underwhelming because he doesn't react like he thinks it's like that bad he's like oh did i upset her oh no <laughs> yeah if a girl reacted to me that way after like that happened i'd be like oh i'm socially down i'm bad no not he's already down bad but he's like socially dead after something like that happens at least that's what i'd be worried about yeah well i mean uh, look we all know it was obviously an accident but like what you're, you're you're going on this you're going on this guy's back like he's gotta he's gotta readjust which reminds me, um, I was actually in a similar situation, not with a girl, but with a guy. Uh, I, w- I was coming back from a, <laughs> yeah, sorry, don't worry, remember I'm down bad after all. I, uh, we were coming back from like a, a live show in like, uh, like Boston or something. So we spent like all day walking around and, uh, and my friend, he had like, he had a, like a, he was like breaking in some new vans. So like the shoes were new. And, you know, new shoes and, worst of all, vans are not for, like, walking around cities all day. No, so his his So his, he got, like, he got bad blisters. So I, on the way back, uh, after getting off of the train, going to the parking lot or whatever, I offered to give him a piggyback ride uh, <laughs> until we get to his car. And um, it's, it's kind of hard to do it because... Um, I'm carrying some stuff alongside uh him. At least I think I was. Uh and he's also like kind of tall. So, you know, it, it's not it's not as easy to do a piggyback ride with someone who's comparable to your height. Anyway, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to carry him. I carry him for a good while. So, there's some girls who who notice this and think it's pretty funny. And I'm inclined to agree it was very funny. Uh I hope they remember me cuz I remember I remember them. <laughs> That's the story. I didn't grab his ass or anything. Unfortunate. 
<laughs> I had a similar situation, but not with the piggybacking, but with the vans. Where I went, oh, yeah. I went out for a night in the town and in vans, and it, it it only has to happen once for you to know to like never do it again. But I was mm. in college, so I wasn't in like a city. But I like I made the decision then to just like walk home like barefoot, which was a horrible decision in retrospect. But because like I easily could have stepped on some glass or some shit like walking yes. through like downtown in my college town, <laughs> but made it home all right. That's my story. That's it. I'm glad we both have walking stories that involve uh, involve Des- getting... destroying your feet walking around a ton in vans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do we wear vans? <laughs> Cause they look cool. They look kind. Of, yeah, they do look kind of cool. They're just, but they're like, they're skater shoes. You're not supposed to wear them for walking around. You're supposed to wear them for skateboarding. Yeah, I want people to think I skateboard without actually like breaking my hand. Or, like, I just my can't fucking think fucking kneecaps or something. I just can't think of any other shoes that look cool, like Converse's. That's true. Like, eh, I don't know. Eh, I don't. I don't really like. Eh. I don't really like Chucks. Shoes and are like, for losers. Yeah, we're all right. Hot you know take. what? From now on, I'm only wearing Crocs. Base. I'm only wearing those uh those like toe shoes. Oh those, like, those, like, yeah. Shoes with like like the to- like the toe spaces. Uh, That's I need from now on. Uh, dude, I knew a kid in high school who would wear those. He was. Um, I knew a couple kids in high school who wore those. He he was he was already like kind of a weird kid, and he was um, but he and he was also on the track team, so he was like. Yes, they were also on the track team. I guess they're just good for running. <laughs> they are. That's that's like the whole point, right? Is you you uh, feel the road. I guess, yeah. Uh, mankind was not meant to wear shoes. Okay. That's true. That's true. Declaring war on everyone who wears shoes from this point on. <laughs> yes, I demand everyone show us your feet from now on. All right. We've kind of lost the plot a bit, so I'm, I'm going to reel us good. back in. Yes. Th- there's a real important part of this episode that I think some we might, both want to cover. Some might say the best part. The best part. So, this is... it's. I believe it's either the final chapter or, like, an extra chapter that's included in the first volume. Yeah. Well, let's I just call it the final extra. chapter. I think it's, like, chapter eight. Chapter seven or eight. Or an extra. But to the very end of the first volume. So, after this incident with uh, Nagatoro, running away, real embarrassed that Senpai just grabbed her ass. Sen- Senpai sitting at home. Just, like, handful wait, of it. waiting. A, a whole handful. He drove that dump truck. Uh. <laughs> but, uh... So he's, he's waiting at home, right? And he's like, oh, is, she, is she mad at me? Is she not going to text me? And she starts texting him. And like, I don't like know, like giving him wrong. shit. Yeah, like like nothing ever happened. He's like, what, what are you doing right now, senpai? I, I, bet, I bet you're doing lewd stuff or something, right? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm, what I'm, I'm doing? studying. And of course he can't guess. Yeah, he's like... Well, what what am I doing right now, Senpai? Uh, I don't I don't know. She and then she tells him, "I'm taking a bath." You know, she calls him. She calls him, yeah. And a uh, a little mishap happens, and she presses the video call button. Yes, and uh, and and at this at this moment, um. I'm actually going to check this right now, but Nagatoro is an official member of the Anime Bath Scene Wiki. Uh, we did it, everyone. There's a wiki for that? Yeah, you didn't hear about this? Uh, the um, I don't think I've heard about this, no. There was a, uh, there was like a Wang video about uh, talking about this. That, uh, that, th- this is like this, this guy or girl, I actually don't know that um that just chronicles every single bath scene in an anime and up oh, yep here it is here's the link incredible yeah link uh, in the comments link, yeah link uh, you know link in the show notes i'll i'll, I'll put it i'll yeah. put it in the description uh right. it, remember this anime is bath scene wiki.com okay huh mm. remember this is not sexual this is just uh you know regardless uh <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, she accidentally hits the video call, and I, I gotta, I gotta say, like, is that even? 
possible? I don't know. I think, like, phones have evolved enough at this point that if you're, like, holding a phone, like, against your head, like, normally the screen goes black so you don't, like, press buttons now that we're in the world of touch screens. Yeah. Sometimes it fucks up. I- I've definitely had a That's phone true. fuck up. I don't know. Either I way. It. All right. I bold, bold of her to call him while in the bath. Bold move. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't. She she had the she had to really sell it. If she was pretending to bathe, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been as gratifying for her. That's true. That's true. But as as always with this show, Coomers stay winning. Coomers Let's have go, won again. The Coomers. This is the probably like peak Coomer. I think unless they add something. I remember this I, I th- being the most Coomer esque scene. This is the uh, most Coomer it really ever gets. I mean, other than maybe like the 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 beach episode last time. Yeah. Oh, this that's is pretty true. much the pinnacle. This is this is the mountaintop. Mm. Uh, agreed. <laughs> and, and like when she notices, like she look she looked and sounded so like distressed. I really I honestly like felt bad for her. Uh yeah, I did too. I, I mean, like, I this is uh, that, that situation. This is a very embarrassing thing to happen to you. And, I, I, I you know, Senpai is being as nice as he can about it. Like, like oh, God, she, that she's face. Like, she's that going... face is so bad. Like, yeah. like oh, my God. She, she's, she's gone far in, like, in many different directions. She's absolutely down bad. But it's like, normally she's like ready to take the actions that she does. She was not ready to like flash mm. Senpai, essentially. <laughs> well, she wasn't She wasn't ready for Senpai to be like, oh, what loot things are we going to do, huh? She wasn't even ready for that. So That's like, true. this is like That's so true. crazy. And the fact she's like, oh my God, she's crying? Shit. This poor girl. That's true. I don't think we've seen that before. I think that was added. Uh, I saw people talking about that, how that wasn't in the the manga. Really? Okay. Yeah. I think it's a good touch, though. I like it. No, yeah. Not that I don't, you know, I don't like her crying, but... (laughs) No, you heard it here first. Tech likes seeing girls cry. (sighs) I guess I can't walk anything back. Nope. Well, there's no need to walk back. We just have to move forward. And it's the end of the episode, so there's really nowhere else to go. That's true because we've already covered the 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 post credit scene, the preview. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the next episode should prove exciting, just like this one did. Yeah, finally getting a, a little a little bit more uh, characterization for Sakura, and I'm pretty excited about that. Mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be good, and uh, I hope I hope you all tune in, and uh, we'll see you uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs>